Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And I have to apologize. I promised uh, the next episode would be the dealership. They're good to go. Uh, but the weather is just not cooperating. Uh, yesterday it was like torrentials and wind and all kinds of good stuff. So it was in and out, in and out, doing chores. And then today, same thing. A uh, little bit, break of sun, rain, dry rain. I don't want to go there when it's raining because I don't want the wind noise. And a little sunshine would be nice. Next week after Thanksgiving, it's supposed to, the weather's supposed to break for a few days. So I'm postponing my dealership video till then. Having said all that, uh, getting a little cabin fever, <laughs> sitting in the house waiting for the uh, clouds to break. So I've been out doing a few things. Um, this is a firewood cut em up uh, video and uh, hopefully that'll give you some uh, relaxation to watch it. Uh, it gives me a little therapy to get it done. If you're new to the channel, this, uh, this uh, splitter that I'm using today is a splitter that my neighbor gave me for free. It had been sitting several years and we got it running, I should say. I got it running with uh, the help of uh, YouTube and a few other things. And so um, it's my free splitter. I don't even have a place to burn firewood right now. I just do it for therapy. Uh, but this limb that I uh, cut up today and split today uh, was a limb that was over in the area where we cleared those cedars on our last video. It was uh, one big limb that was kind of hanging down and so I used a pole saw to loosen it up, cut it, and ultimately had to winch it down against another tree because I couldn't quite get a full cut. I didn't want to climb a ladder or climb a tree. So got it down this morning, chopped it up. I uh, got another probably uh, box of chips, branches down there waiting, but it's just too darn soggy to bring the tractor down the hill. I could bring it down the hill, but then I would be bringing all the mud in the tires into the shop. And so I try to minimize how much mud I bring in the shop. I do bring mud in the shop and dirt and pine needles and all kinds of other stuff, but I try to pick my battles so I don't completely, uh, I sweep it out just about every day. And so I kind of try to minimize how much mud I get in. But I did manage to get the tractor out at least to uh, pull the splitter out of the back of the shop and do some splitting. So I'm hoping that you find that interesting, find it entertaining, and um, I'm still gonna go to the dealership. I'm hoping after Thanksgiving next week, it's gonna be nice and so we'll get her done. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by, I appreciate it. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes and uh, sharing that you folks do. Uh, help grow in the channel piece by piece, I appreciate that. And um, we will uh, get back to you soon. I got a couple new uh, Christmas presents already. I know it's early, but you know, uh, so I might give you a little short review on, on those uh, in coming videos. Uh, one of them is the, uh, I finally broke down and, and purchased a uh, battery operated chainsaw just for, you know, like chipping and small chores, lemon, that sort of thing. So I'm anxious to get that. Should get it on Sunday, see what that's like. And then, um, so I'll have you take a look at that with me. And then the other thing I got is a weather station. I'm kind of fanatical about the weather if you haven't figured that out yet. I'm always trying to figure out what's coming and what's going and when it's gonna happen. And so I got a weather station for, uh, for Christmas and I already have it mounted up. And so uh, we'll, take, we'll take a look at that, talk about that. Anyway. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and take care of yourselves and we will talk to you soon.
Thank <laughs> you.